Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Random Pet Genetics Challenge, where we are here with some of the absolute best cats. How did I forget about you, honey? Look at you, look at you, your beautiful coloring, your fantastic ears, your tiny little tail. Oh my gosh. You guys, remember the era where I said that the cats were the boring part of our genetics experiments? Well, I think it's safe to say that we are now whipping up some of the most interesting cats that our feline family tree has ever seen here in the Labarcatory. Or, and many of you guys want me to say Laboratory when we are playing with the cats, but that one doesn't roll off the tongue quite so easily. So my apologies, my friends. But today we will be spending more time with the felines because look at them, look at them. Is this not the coolest? Oh my gosh. Not to mention, there is actually quite a bit of new custom content that we have added in for kitty cats. Damien, if you would be so kind as to show off some new additions that Caltron has actually created. I just did a video about some of Caltron's new hippogriff items for the large dogs, also phoenixes, in case you guys are interested in some of the more fantasy-based animals. But recently, she has also released fangs, fangs for your cats, which I I think is actually like the most adorable vampire cat look that you could possibly ever hope for with those teeny tiny little fangs. Look at that. Oh, if only this had been available in The Sims 3, right? That would have been so much fun. But you can have short, medium, and long fangs on your kitty cats now. And I think there was something else. We have the bunny, is it the bunny body? All oh, the little bunny legs that we now have for cats too. Uh, so there have been some additions on top of the stuff that we already have had for our cats. So things might be getting very interesting in this lab. And as usual, we, we will be using your guys' names and some of uh, your suggestions while we are creating new cats today. So let's go ahead and get started. Come along, Jenna. It is time for your life to progress. Oh my gosh, you're an elder already? <gasps> Jenna's an elder. You know what that means, guys? I'm going to need a new lab assistant next time. So make sure that you leave your comments down below if you would like to be a lab assistant uh let me know because i always feel weird like just grabbing somebody's face when we have to make you in the sims 4 with all of its randomness as we figure out if you're going to be part of the smaller bigger club so yeah make sure you let me know in the comments if it's okay that i can use your name for being a lab assistant and uh i'm gonna need your help next time because we are really turning along i believe we're yeah we're over halfway there on the dogs trying to reach to 100 animals that we have experimented on here and uh we're starting to finally make progress with the cats but i have to figure out which cat we're actually supposed to be working on right now so honey you're gonna go out and you are going to go play uh so then we're also going to send damien out oh damien you're so beautiful too this was truly a fantastic litter i am so happy about that and then we have Sparrow, cat number C-027. So we're about a fourth of the way there on our cats. And it's been so fun to see how everything's gotten exciting as the custom content comes out. Star Wolf is the father of Sparrow. And then we have Buttons, who's so cute. Oh my gosh, we're gonna release Buttons as well. Claudia finally gets to retire and take with her the white lab cat coat that we have had for generations. No offense, Claudia, but I'm very excited that Star Wolf was able to add in uh, such fantasticness to the family tree. Also, really ironic about the name Star Wolf and this really awesome space cat. This is really cool. I loved it. All right, so there we go. And we still have Tay, our puppy. He is going to wait because today is all about Sparrow's new mate. So let's go ahead and we are going to design a brand new kitty cat. Oh my gosh, you're so cute! <gasps> what is this? What is this? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I said we were going to design a new cat. But guys, this is already a raccoon rabbit flop ear cat hybrid. 
<laughs> this is not the one that we are going to be using as a mate, but how can I turn down this gift that the random generator has bestowed upon me? Oh my gosh. So, um, everyone, I would like you to uh, possibly welcome Trickster. So this is going to be a little male named Trickster, a name that Elky has actually picked. Thank you so much, Elky. I am very excited to use your names. <laughs> All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and I'm going to give Trickster the clever, curious, um, mischievous, mm, or prowler. I feel like Trickster is looking around for all sorts of foods to get, but what a mix. I have never had like a raccoon skin on one of our random cats before, so I have to keep this one. And what a name, because Trickster was on my list of the next name to use. So I feel like this was just the perfect like the perfect name to use. So there we go. All right, and we're gonna give him, we'll give him kind of like a weird little voice. There we go. So Trickster, this is just too cute. Like this is where all of the animals of the suburban wilderness suddenly had hybrid babies together. So, all right, back to, back to work. Sorry about that. That was just really cool. What? <laughs> Okay, now the raccoons are just trying to come out in force. Now I feel like we're being invaded by raccoons. Uh, they want to be in on this, but they're not going to be because we have to roll our random generator nine times to decide on the new animal today. So, all right, let's do this. We're going to pop up here. Uh, I hope that it's going to randomize the mixed breed properly. Is that going to do it? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Don't know about that mixed breed though. But all right, so that's gonna be the second animal. Uh, we'll say the second. And then the third, ooh, fourth. Oh, the tail, oh my gosh. Fifth, oh my goodness. Sixth, oh, wow. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful today, guys. With all of the new custom content we have, I am just so in love with all of these animals. Okay, we're gonna keep this one too. This is six, this is six. Okay, so this is Tisha. Uh, beautiful Tisha after Tisha, who left a lovely comment. Thank you so much for your nice comment. Uh, I'm really in love with this cat. I just couldn't resist. It, it almost reminds me of like a beautiful, beautiful, almost like, like, mm, Egyptian god cat, for lack of a better term. Uh, so that was our sixth cat. I gotta go along, but they're just so lovely. Why are you so cute? You're our seventh cat, and you look just like Pepe Le Pew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're having really good luck today, guys. So that's seventh cat, eighth cat. Oh my gosh. Ninth cat. What? <laughs> All right, we will take this ninth cat. We are gonna change everything about him anyway. I'm beginning to wonder if we should kind of leave. Well, no, we gotta we gotta edit the cats that we bump across. But I don't know. Some of the the random ones we're starting to get are so cool. I hesitate to to change them. But we're gonna just have to have faith in the random generators. So I would like to welcome into everything. Anna! So we are gonna add in Anna, who left a really cool comment talking about having fun at her camp last time, which is so awesome. And Anna, we are going to, she, you are already a friendly, lazy, fluffy cat. Let's see what you look like once we are done with randomizing everything in the random generator. Hey, come back here, Anna, come back here. All right, so we leave head shape as the only thing we do not change, but we're gonna jump over to ears and randomize one time, just once. Oh, nice traditional cat ears is the result. And then only one time on the nose as well. Really nice nose. But the whiskers are actually going to get 12 randomizations. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Nice, all right, so a lot of fluffy black whiskers. That's really cool. I just noticed that my whiskers alternate between two different types, which gives us so many options. And then the eyes, we're gonna randomize 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, nice, okay. You know, I kind of almost like the, the kind of traditional look we're going for here. Then we're gonna go ahead, the body is going to be randomized six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's such a mystery how it's all gonna turn out. Oh, I forgot we have a three tail cat download now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so eight times on the tail. We might have tail, no tail, big tail, rabbit tail, or three tail, which has really expanded our options. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> We have three tail cat! We have our first three tail 
look at. Oh, Anna, I knew the randomness would be kind to us. Okay, let's keep going. Eight times on the coat and pattern. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have kind of your, your tabby look, but this is our first three-tailed cat. I cannot believe that. That is just awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is definitely adding in some fun drama. Uh, okay, keep moving. Once on the, this coat color. One. <gasps> a purple three-tailed cat. This is better than I could have ever hoped for. And then seven times on the next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Twelve times on the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. There we go, my friends. We have our very first three-tail cat wiggling that tail at us. This is amazing, and we're not even done. Five times on the fur. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we lost our first, and now those tails look more like lemur or monkey tails, darn it. Uh, all right, that's fine. I really like the patterning that's down the back into the tip of the tail, though. That's really cool. And then finally, we are going to be randomizing, uh, unfortunately, only twice to see if we get anything special from the much more abundant options in the pet clothing. So one, two. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's been an accident in the laboratory. There's been an accident in the laboratory. Oh my gosh, we've lost one leg and one eye. What have we come to in this world? Oh my gosh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to put those in, but you know what? There are accidents in the lab. That's why you should always proper practice lab safety. So my apologies, Anna. You have kind of, um, you've, you've, you've kind of had a bit of a go of it, but I really applaud your heroism at, at just carrying forward. But all right, guys, so this is, oh, and I forgot to give the proper name. This is Anna. Anna is cat number C028. Eight, I believe eight. Yes, C zero dash zero two eight, and uh, the official new member of our feline family tree, showing us that all of that stuff I said about cats being boring can be thrown out the window now. But all right, so we also have Trickster the raccoon, Tisha the gorgeous like Egyptian Mao goddess cat. Wow! And we are now going to breed Sparrow and Anna together and see what their babies would look like. This is definitely adding some color and some variety. I. I gotta, I gotta say. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play with genetics and we get to experiment with nine of their babies, which is gonna be really cool. So Sparrow, Anna, ah, it's so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. This would be baby number one. Wow. Who would grow up into a cat with quite a big tail, almost like mixing all three of those tails together. Two, beautiful, beautiful, three, Four. Oh my gosh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! <laughs> All right, so even though Anna offered up so many beautiful neon colors and other traits, it looks like we have not ended up with the three tails, nor have we ended up with any of the purple, but this is going to be the new addition to our family tree. Let me pull up a name, and the answer is, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's see. All right, Cherry! Okay, so this is after Gritty and Melissa, and we are gonna name this cat Cherry, which is actually perfect because the eye color is totally right on point with Cherry's. So there we go, little Cherry, who is a new addition to the family from Gertie and Melissa. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. I hope you are having a good day. We are going to pick traits. You are a clever, Frisky, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, talkative cat cherry. And we are actually going to go ahead and I think uh, we're gonna roll to see if we inherit Anna's, I don't know if you should inherit like missing bits and pieces though. What do you guys think? I don't think, I think that's more like an accident of, of something went wrong in the lab, uh, which kind of sucks, but it does happen. And it does celebrate animals who are kind of missing their bits and bobs, which I think is very important. Uh, but let me know if you guys think we should make that inheritable. I'm kind of thinking that things we should inherit are more like, 
traits that you would expect to inherit, but like one, one eye and one leg missing are not exactly traits that you inherit. So I'm going to leave that out of rolling, uh, actually. And I don't think, yes, yeah, Sparrow with her adorable little coat, she's just so adorable, doesn't have anything to really offer up. So in an interesting twist, Cherry has actually returned us to something a little bit normal. Huh. But all right, I'm actually curious. We're gonna go ahead really quickly and wrap up by peeking. What would happen if we had, oh, Trickster, your babies. Your babies with their little tail, little raccoon tail, that is just so cute. What if we had Trickster and Tisha have a baby? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm keeping you. Yeah. That's that's one of the most beautiful kittens I think we have ever had. And this is definitely, this is going to be unbolting after unbolting cat. Thank you so much for your nice comment. We are going to have a uh, aloof, but playful and aloof, but playful and friendly kitten. So a little bit of a mix and match of all sorts of personalities, but how could I resist this? Oh my gosh, cutest kitten I think we have ever had. But all right, guys, so there we go. We have progressed on our feline family tree. I'm hoping that we can eventually catch up and get halfway there, just like we need to be for the dogs. And hopefully we'll have more genetic fun here in the laboratory next time. Be sure to leave your comments down below if you would like to enjoy being a lab assistant or one of our many wonderful animals. Uh, you know, terms and conditions of possibly missing some limbs do apply. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.